Hey everyone, my name is Brandy with Brandy Tronconi Photography and welcome to my channel. Before we get to today's video, if you have not already done so, please go ahead down and click on that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and click on the thumbs up to like this video. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now in today's video, I'm a little bit close to home in Newark, Delaware. I'm currently on the Pomeroy Trail here in Newark, and I will be taking a walk up East Main Street where there's a lot of shops. People are out and about finally in Newark, and I will also be stopping off at one of the restaurants here because we're finally opening up and we're allowed to sit in the restaurant. I'll have some outdoor seating to where I can watch people go by, enjoy the fresh air, and enjoy some food. So I really do hope that you join with me and enjoy just exploring and walking around in an area that I live in and seeing the wonder and the beauty even close to home. So sit back, enjoy, walk with me, and see you in the video. Okay, so I am walking, I'm getting ready to head onto Main Street. And this is actually one of the busy, normally one of the busy areas um, because the University of Delaware is actually located in Newark, Delaware. So this is usually where all the college kids hang out, sometimes their parents. The residents also shop, come here and eat here um, during Corona. Things kind of slowed down a bit. Please excuse the noise because they are doing some road work um, that they've been working on. But because we had that shut down, it got delayed a little bit. So now they're starting to finish up um, the project. But. It's a cute little quaint little area. Okay, so here I am in the little shop. I did get permission from the owner. It's called Bloom. Now, I'm not going to go in on close on anything, but I live in Newark. And as often as I have walked, as often as I have driven through, I've actually never come in. So sometimes it's good to take a pause and not go very far from where you actually live. There you go. To see 
some beautiful and interesting things. Now, since I wasn't planning on it coming in here, I'm gonna have to come back and because I find some things so far that I would actually love to purchase if I had it with me today. Okay, so I have actually exited Bloom, which was that little store that I stopped in at. The owner actually gave me her business card and we had a good conversation. Now, in the past three or four years, I've been coming to this location. You can see that little awning. I've noticed this wall right here because it kind of stands out a little bit when you're walking, not so much when you're driving. But you see this area in this same strip, back cameras, etc. Bloom. I shop at cameras, etc. for most of my camera equipment. So as many times as I've been in here, I just finally noticed that store Bloom. And again, I didn't have the money to shop in there, but I found some very cute little interesting finds because I like the stuff that you can't really find anywhere else. And they do have some handmade items in there. They have some unique items. So this is why it's good to even explore in your own area because you may find stuff like that that you just wouldn't normally find okay so my reservation is getting close so i'm going to head to the restaurant and enjoy some lunch get some all right so i have stopped for lunch i'm sitting here at the santa fe restaurant right on east main street in newark the current situation is you do have to make a reservation, but that could change as our situations change. So if you decide to come here, by all means, check to make sure that you, whether you do or do not have to make reservations. But right now, that is my chips and my, my food or at least my drinks are starting to come out but this is actually what I'm seeing right along Main Street again normally when it's open a little bit more you can see a lot more people but I decided that instead of sitting on the inside I decided to sit on the outside as well just so I can get some fresh air, enjoy some lunch, get some more scenery. These right here are the chips that they chips and salsa that they serve you while you're waiting for your lunch or your main men menu or your dinner or what have you. So I'm all good. And right now, like I said, it's just a wonderful day sitting here in the city in which I live. Excuse, that's what happens when you're sitting in a place where people are eating. You hear all the noise in the background, but it's a great thing. But, so, but as I was saying, it's great sometimes just to go to the place in which you live to find those new things. Again, I just found that little boutique right on East Main Street that I've never seen as much as I've traveled down East Main Street and shopped at cameras etc and walked past it never noticed it so I'm gonna sit back and enjoy my lunch enjoy the fresh air enjoy the view hey everyone all right I just wanted to give you a view because this is this is what I ordered right here this plate right here which is called the Pleto de Carnitas, okay? And it is slow cooked whole pork, grilled onions, Mexican rice, churro beans, fried jalapeno, salsa verde, sour cream, tortilla. And this right here, 
this was it's the first time i've ever been to santa fe restaurant so this is the chef's welcome and they do this as basically your first time here they give this to you as a little sampler there is no cost for this it's for at the first time so please be honest when you do it but of the different sauces and the dips that they have so i'm going to be enjoying my time here so again but just by doing some things new you find some really good places to be all right i'm going to get to my food before it gets cold <laughs> So I finished up at Santa Fe restaurant and I'm heading back to my car. The food and the service at Santa Fe is amazing. I actually left with a to-go bag because there was way too much food for me to be able to sit and eat at one given time. But, and as you saw in the video, I do apologize that there was no sound, but that's because while I was eating, I turned off the camera both my cameras so I could sit and enjoy my meal and just enjoy my surroundings but while I was finishing up I started hearing the chanting black lives matter I can't breathe you know what do we want justice when do we want it now we you know we do we want the reform now and so I turned on my camera, but unfortunately I forgot to turn on the microphone. But I'm gonna say something which I normally don't talk about on any one of my videos, but I have to say it. These protesters, the protesters, not the rioters, they are different. They are and I, again, I stand with them, but they are exercising their First Amendment right to peacefully protest that was given to all people in this country to speak out against those injustices, speak out when things aren't quite right, when things are wrong. And again, I stand with because while I see people as people, I see all people, I don't care what your skin tone is, I don't care what your hair texture is, I don't care if you're black, brown, yellow, okay? To me, you are a person that God created in his image. And your skin color and your hair color is just your description of your outer appearance. Because who you are is what God made you. Who you are is that beautiful person that God made you and that God made us. But until everybody is seen for who they are and not what they look like, let us stand together and speak out against a system that does, unfortunately, not, not every police officer, I'm going to put that, not every police officer judges like that. Not every police officer is bad, just like not every black person, not every yellow person, not every Chinese person, not every Spanish person is bad or, or is 
bad or good is based on who you are. I can't even say bad or good. But, so, because as you saw, these protesters, they had a police escort the entire way. And they were those officers were making sure that traffic stopped. They made sure that nobody got hit or hurt. And again, I stand with. Because unfortunately, I have seen. Not everybody has my thought process. And not everybody doesn't have my thought process. Okay? But I wanted to get capture them on video. I want I do have some still photos because while I was not actually in the protest, I could still stand. And I could still stand with. And I could let everybody out there see it. So and I'm glad I was able to catch it because my original location thought for today was not Newark. It was a totally different area. But at the last minute, I had a thought to come out to Newark and capture some video here where I live. So I was able to catch some really good scenes, but at the same time, I was able to catch that protest as they were going through. So again, I do apologize that I did not get the sound, but I'm going to say this, no sound was needed because you could see it, okay? And again, I stand with the protesters, and until there is, until, there, until, we, keep, as, at, until we keep moving forward, and we keep that moving forward, if it's a peaceful protest, let them do the peaceful protest. Let them do the protest. Because again, the protesters and the rioters are, they're not the same. They, they cannot be lumped together.
Hey everyone, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video because I sure did enjoy having new experiences right in my own backyard. Again, I don't know how many times I've driven on East Main Street going to my house, how many times I've walked East Main Street, and never did I notice that little cute boutique bloom right on East Main Street, right in the same, basically right around the corner from cameras, etc., where I get most of my camera equipment. And how many times have I driven past Santa Fe? And today was my first time eating there. And let me tell you, it was an awesome experience. The atmosphere was great. The food was great. The service was great. I got to sit outside. I experienced a protest. Now, I'm going to give you a challenge. After watching these videos, go out and explore your world. Again, even if it's in your own backyard. Even if you're not able to travel far distances, you don't necessarily have to. You just may find something new right where you live. Now, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified of every new video as they come out. And click on that thumbs up to like this video. Again, I really, really appreciate your support. I hope you all have a joyful, wonderful, glorious, beautiful, adventure-filled day. I love each and every one of you. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video.